Hello, I'm Samir Tyne, the main author of LuArt Studio, an open-source Windows Lua IDE. In this video, I will present you how to download and install LuArt Studio and the first steps using it. Let's start by the installation. First open your web browser and go to the studio.luart.org website. The site briefly introduces you to the main features of LuArt Studio. Click on the download button in the top of the screen. This will take you to the download page for the latest version published on the GitHub repository. Here I am downloading LuArt Studio in 64-bit version, but there is a 32-bit version available too. Once done, go to the downloads directory and open the zip file. You can see a zip directory named LuArt Studio. Extract it wherever you want on your hard drive. LuArt Studio is portable software, so you can install it on a USB key or an external hard drive if you wish. To uninstall LuArt Studio, Simply delete the directory where you installed it. Now let's go to the directory and launch the IDE for the first time by clicking on the executable file named LuArt Studio. Since LuArt Studio is not a Microsoft certified and signed executable, the smart screen will mark the application as unrecognized on first start. Don't be afraid of that, you can check the virus total scan result on the download page if you prefer before proceeding. To continue and start the IDE, Simply click More Info, then click Run Anyway to continue and start the IDE. And there you have it, you've just downloaded and launched LuArt Studio for the first time. The main menu is rather simple. The file menu allows you to open, save and close files. The edit menu contains source code editing, clipboard, and bookmark functions. The search menu contains search and replace functionality. The view menu is used to configure the layout of the IDE. The project menu allows you to define the directory of the current project, to run it, to debug it, and to compile a Lua script into an executable. And finally the help menu provides help on how the IDE works. The toolbar contains the main commands we have just seen. Here we have the main source code editing area. Each tab contains the source code of an open file in the editor. The bottom area of the IDE contains three tabs. The first is the output tab which contains the IDE messages following the execution of a command. The Lua interpreter tab is a Lua console that allows you to execute statements and evaluate Lua expressions. It allows you to test pieces of code easily. The Markers tab gathers all the markers that are located in the code editor margin. They can be breakpoints or code area markers you want to remember. Now it's time to run some code. Enter the following code in the editor. Look at the various aids offered in the form of tooltips while you type on the keyboard. Now let's run this script, but we need to save it first. You can see the message, Hello World, written in the Output tab. Congratulations, you have just run your first Lua application. Now let's try to set a breakpoint by clicking on the margin of the editor. The breakpoint appears well in the Markers tab. Let's run a debugging session. You notice that the execution stops at the breakpoint before the message is displayed in the output tab. This LuArt Studio tutorial is coming to an end. Thank you for watching.